Welcome to today's tutorial. Architects often take on projects located within mountainous and forest environments, where precise topographical representation is essential for effective planning. In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can rapidly create realistic mountain terrain for your project. D5 Render comes with its own easy-to-use terrain tools. By selecting the upward brush, you can effortlessly create mountain terrain. If you need to create a gentle or flatter area on the mountain slope, you can easily use the Flatten tool. You can further refine and sculpt your mountains by using the smooth, eraser, or downward tools to perfect the terrain. If you find that the mountain is obstructing the main building, you can easily use these same tools to modify the terrain and clear the sightline. For creating beautiful mountain lakes, the downward and flattened brushes are your best friend. These brushes will allow you to quickly sink the terrain and create a natural looking depression. The terrain you sculpt with D5's tools also allows for surface material modification. Since we don't need snow at the mountain peaks, let's change the peak material to a dark forest ground texture. Then, we'll modify the slope material to grassland and adjust its color to our liking. You can continually tweak the altitude and range settings for both the peak and slope materials to achieve a seamless, natural blend. You can choose the beach material to manually paint the detailed textures of the lake floor and the bank. With the terrain complete, let's move on to creating our lake. First, place a simple plane model. Use the I key to select its material and then apply a water material. After adjusting the water's UV scale and base color, as well as the normal map and flow settings that define the ripples, your lake is essentially finished You can watch our dedicated tutorial to learn more tips for refining your water body settings. Continue fine tuning the materials for a natural look. For the mountain's vegetation, we can use D5's auto scatter tool. Simply select the slope material and vegetation you prefer and have the tool automatically populate the mountain surface. We can enhance the mountain by strategically placing stone models to create richer detail. Near the primary building, we recommend choosing plants with more visual impact, like palm trees, to really draw the viewer's attention. We'll also need to place some taller tree species on the mountain to create a richer layering of vegetation. Along the water's edge, the path tool is perfect for arranging different tree types precisely where you want them.
To create a truly realistic natural environment, use D5's HDRI to simulate the lighting condition. Enable the sun option and adjust its settings. Next, simply enable the fog effect and adjust parameters like its density, height, and fall off to simulate that beautiful, authentic mountain mist. And with that, our realistic mountain and forest environment is complete. That covers everything for this video. Thank you for watching.